In this video I show you how to make cables lightning fast with the Cable Rater add-on. If you want to pick it up the link is in the description and if you want more videos like this consider subscribing and now let's begin. Alright so the first thing that I'm going to do is go to edit and preferences and now if you find the Cable Rater add-on you can go to hotkeys and you'll see that the hotkey for Cable Rater is Shift Alt C. So let's go and give that a try. So you'll see we get this option here. So we have four main ways of creating cables and a bunch of extra features here. So I'm going to click create cable and you'll see we get this little menu here with a bunch of options. So it allows us to select two points. So you can click literally anywhere. This is so awesome. So I'm just going to click there and there and you'll see it automatically creates a cable between them. So then you have a bunch of other options with their assigned hotkeys. For example, to change the width, you would hit S. So I hit S and move my mouse and you'll see the scale will change. You can also hold S, sorry, not S, Shift and it will give you a more precise uh, change. You can also adjust the tension, for example, uh, using D or the subdivision points. You can also show the wire which can be handy and the twist method is quite important this is used for fixing artifacts so I recommend keeping this on minimum it seems to solve the most artifact problems uh, but you can hit H to change it if you are getting any to change the default of that we can go back into the preferences so edit preferences and make sure you're on preferences not on hotkeys and now you can come and change it here so it'll be on Z up by default I've got it on minimum you can also change whatever else you like and enable more options to show on the menu so I'm going to close that now now one cool feature of Cable Writer is you can actually go back and edit the cables so if you bring up the menu with a cable selected you see you get the edit cable option and we can go back and edit almost all of those options uh, with some extras like bevel which is really cool you can also edit them in edit mode so confirm and then go into edit mode so you can now play around and adjust the handles and if you want to add more you can bring the panel back up and go down to helpers and select add bezier point at mouse cursor so now you can click wherever you like and it will add a handle and you can right click or hit escape to finish now on to my favorite feature, the draw tool. So I'm just going to delete this and the other cube and I'll bring this to the middle. All right, so just under create is draw. So you can just draw straight onto any surface and this is just crazy right here. You'll see it works flawlessly. Uh, and as usual, you have a bunch of options for example the pen depth mode so I normally just leave it on surface but you can change it um, to cursor and then it will draw uh, on line with the cursor you can also change the smoothness uh, with F I find so so is just fine but that's up to you and for the twist method I definitely recommend minimum here it seems to solve pretty much all the problems uh, for example Z up it's fine here Oh, we can see some artifacts here so just keep it on minimum now this is quite simple geometry here it's just going around a corner so I'm gonna right click to finish it and delete this and using the hard ops add-on I'm going to apply a small bevel on there and using box cutter I'm going to draw an inset boolean if you'd like to get either of those add-ons there'll be a link in the description Right, so I'm also going to apply a Harden Normals modifier. Alright, so now back to Cable Rater. I'm going to draw a cable. Now, when you have two points you want to connect, you can, oh, I'll just confirm this with right click, you can go into edit mode and select both the handles you want to connect. You can then bring up the menu and hit Merge Selected Endpoints and it will join them together. Another way you can create cables is from edges. 
So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to shift A and add a plane. Then in edit mode I'm going to delete two vertices and we're now left with an edge. So I'm just going to extrude some of these around just for display purposes just like that. And now you can select all of the edges, bring up the menu again and hit create from edges and you'll see we can uh, as usual change the width and do whatever we want. The last way you can create cables is from objects. Now this is a massive time saver depending on what scene you're working on, say a factory. So I'm just going to uh, confirm this and delete everything inside the scene. So I'm going to go and add a cube and I'm just going to duplicate this a bunch of times just to show you uh, how powerful this actually is. So with all the objects selected you can just go and hit create from selected objects and you'll see just like that creates a bunch of cables. Now one of the coolest things is you can randomize the tension with N so it looks like you didn't manually place them all and of course you can change the tension uniformly as well or you can change the width for example. Another really cool thing that we can do with Cable Arator is make connectors. So I'm just going to delete all of this and add a new cube. I'll just put a small bevel on that as well with hard ops. Alright, so now I'm going to go and create a bunch of cables on the top. So I'm just doing this and you can hit Q to immediately create another which is very cool and it allows you to make these cables very quickly. Alright, so now I'm going to left click to confirm that and I'm going to make a connector. So I'm just going to add a simple cylinder and drag it off to the side. I'll bevel that with hard ops as well and then in edit mode I'll go and scale it down. And I think I'll put a nice chamfer on there. Alright, so now with this object selected, I'm going to go and shift select all of the cables. Now to edit it, we have to shift select one of these so that it's active. You can now go into edit mode and select all the bottom vertices. I'll enable select box. So these are the vertices that the connector will be uh, added onto. So now you can bring up the panel and hit add connectors. So you'll see they are far too large. So you can come and hit uh, T to scale them down. And then if you would like to offset them, you can hit D and you can move them up or down depending on where you want them. You can also flip the direction of them and do things like remove the original mesh. Uh, that's up to you. One other cool feature of Cable Rater is making hooks. So I'm going to confirm that and you can select any cable and in edit mode select all of the handles and then you can go to hooks and add aligned hooks. So now what this allows you to do is drag these around without being in edit mode. So this is great if you want to animate them or just to make it easier to move them around. You can also go down to the helpers panel and there's quite a few useful things there I recommend you have a play around with. Thanks for watching everyone, definitely consider picking up Cable Raider, it really does make creating cables much faster. If you want to support me consider checking me out on Patreon and if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe, like the video and comment below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Why? 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 Why